Hello and welcome to Panda Podcast. The topic for today's session will be about internet toxicity, toxicity, and the host for the session will be Dwayne over there, and myself, Rafa. And our special guest today is none other than the principal of Bebeka himself, Mr. Ray. Yes. So, sir, our first question for you is that. Have you ever experienced any form of internet toxicity? Okay, so maybe I can start with the definition. So can you please define what is meant by internet toxicity? So internet toxicity is something like cyberbullying. So when people openly criticize you, like insult your personal life, insult your ability to, let's say, teach or game, and when people would often unnecessarily insult you using either vulgar language, death threats, or any of those sort. Okay, so I think I will just share a little bit of my personal experience. In terms of social media, uh, because I practice safe uh, social media uh, policy, meaning that I don't really share my social media to lots of people, so I think in terms of personal uh, experience through social media or any communication channel, I have never experienced such a thing as internet toxicity. I see. However, I do play games, and uh, yeah, especially if you play games, then you sometimes meet people who are not really behaving properly. Yeah. Sometimes they say bad words, bad things about you and how you play. It can yeah. be about uh, everything else. Yeah, uh, yeah. I do experience uh, such kind of behavior sometimes. Yeah. Um, our second question is, what are your opinions on cyberbullying? Okay, so my yeah, I think it's just a matter of personal issue. Yeah. So because uh, I believe also if people are bullying so they have a, an issue related to their own I think their own self-confidence or their own self-esteem because they don't feel very uh, I mean they don't really feel good about themselves so they find victims they find people other people and that other people are especially uh, so they, they try to look good by making others look bad so that's my personal opinion I see so, sir, our third question is based on the previous question. Do you know how to avoid cyberbullying, sir? Yeah, uh, again, this is based on my personal experience. So if you are dealing with social media, I think it's a good idea if you can limit the, uh, the I, I mean, like, <clears throat> you don't really share a lot of your social media to people you don't really know well. Or maybe you can have two kinds of uh, accounts. The first one is for your personal use and then the second one is for your public use. However, there is also always a risk. So if you share uh, your social media to lots of people, then I think yeah, there can be a little bit of chance of uh, you know, people you know, uh, bullying you, uh, bully you or sending you messages, inappropriate messages through that channel. So I think the first one is to practice safe uh, social media use. And then the second one, uh, also again, uh, because the internet is actually a world outside of, uh, like, like this, it's, it's, it is a world of its own. So you should practice uh, whatever uh, you do in your real world, in, your, yeah, in this world, so that you can feel safe. So again, limit your exposure and then make sure that you also limit your, uh, <clears throat> you don't really uh, hang out with people, you know that uh, they are not really, good or sometimes they often produce lots of you know uh, unnecessary comments or bad comments to you I think, yeah that's one thing yeah i feel like it's a it's been a pressing matter for a long time that people are hanging out with the wrong people is it sir yes so yeah you should know who you are actually communicating with so let's say if you play games i think it's safer if you play games with people you actually know in your real world yeah maybe your classmates or maybe your uh, brothers, sisters, cousins, or everything, or yeah, yeah, as long as you know those people. And then uh, sometimes people will have uh, their own different, uh, you know, so they behave differently in different worlds. So internet worlds, maybe they behave differently uh, compared to their behavior in the real world situation. So yeah, I think it's a good idea. You get to know the people, you get to know the people really well, 
and then make sure that if you have issues you can clarify the issue in the real world situation so I that's see. one thing have you ever experienced any cyberbullying like directly to you uh never again oh, because okay. my policy is uh, safe uh, social media use or safe um, messaging channel use so yeah i don't i don't really experience those kinds of uh, issues ah interesting no problem for me very good hmm. so sir it has come to at least my attention that um, you play a lot of games, sir, and you're on many social media platforms, or at least Instagram, as to my knowledge. According to you, sir, which platform is the most toxic by far? <laughs> yeah, I, I've heard this uh, before, but according to some, I don't know, some comments that I have read, I think it's Twitter, perhaps. Twitter. Twitter, because again, Twitter is very, I would say democratic, yeah? you can say whatever you want, and there is no limit. Even Indonesia cannot limit Twitter because I think it's related to policy, like, yeah? so government policy or something like that. So yeah, so it's a free world and it can be very wild. So it's a wild, wild world. <laughs> Twitter, oh, yes, yes. Twitter, the bane of my existence. So, sir, the next question is that we know that you play a lot of games, you're on social media, sir. And have you ever tried to stop um, cyberbullying from happening? Again, it's an issue uh, with regards to uh, people that I know. Yeah, I can actually uh, talk uh, <coughs> in person uh, to the person. Like, if there is something that I need to, uh, that I think that uh, the person needs to, you know, to improve, then normally I, I, I can speak directly. Because again, uh, I most of the time I know the people I hang out with. Uh, online yeah so I can I can do that but with regards to the people that I don't really know uh, sometimes I my, my my policy is just you know just disregard the people sometimes uh, if you want to feel a little bit more uh, safer you just block the people so you you, you, you don't uh, interact with people like that with, with toxic people uh. so because that's beyond of our own you know ability so we can't really uh, you know make people better right uh, if we don't know them, so we sh if we know them, then I think it's not an issue. It's not a problem. You can talk to them uh, like uh, personally and in good manner. So maybe we can. Maybe they have issues, and so we can help them with their issues. So, what do you think? Do you think cyberbullying can change society? Uh, this is a very common problem it's not just about cyberbullying but it's also about bullying so yeah again uh, in your in our everyday in, in our everyday situation there are lots and lots of kinds of bullying yeah? so even now we can uh, <clears throat> yeah our recent issues with the with a larger country invading smaller country right so that's also in my opinion is some sort of bullying in itself so yeah, that's a real world situation. Something that you really can't really. I mean, like it's 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 happening every day. And one way we can actually prevent this from happening is through education. So if we can educate young people, uh, so they know how to behave, they know what to do, they know how to uh, respond to people, they respect others. Then I think it's not going to be an issue in the long term. So we can uh, we can see the example, especially in developed countries i would say finland uh, sweden and australia even yeah so we see people that uh, in those countries i think the prevalence of bullying is not very high i, I can say it's very low but with regards to <coughs> countries uh, in which the education level is not that high yeah of course the bullying level is also i think it's a bit high yeah maybe we can find a little bit of research about this later on that's a great answer sir and our next question is that how do you think internet toxicity can be reduced in some way? Yeah, again, uh, as I have explained before, it's through education. So if we can educate people, uh, not only young people, but also, you know, uh, somewhat older people. So if they can, you know, uh, sometimes I, this happens also to me and my mom. So my mom is obviously older than me, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so my mom is, uh, sometimes, yeah, my mom sent, uh, uh, let's say, uh, news in which the in which maybe the news is not true so we call it a hoax right mm -hmm. so I tell my mom so this is a hoax mom so don't send it again to every, everyone else so normally people will just you know 
uh, if they receive a message and uh, they think that the message is uh, you know interesting or maybe dramatic in one way so the the person normally will just you know press send or share something like that without even thinking now that's a problem for me i think yeah education can help yeah so again uh, if you send the wrong person the wrong message it can cause maybe the person that you send will feel that okay is is this person trying to bully me or something like that and it, it can cause chaos in the future so again education and it's not just to educate young people also but to educate you know older people so that we can use the internet or we can use the social media in a safer manner and also we can use it uh, more responsibly so one small Mis- spread of misinformation can cause major damage, can it, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, it can, it can, it can be like that. I think yes. Do you think the toxicity in the internet has been like increased since the pandemic, because there is no like level education or something? Again, uh, this is just my, <coughs> this is my my, this is something that I think may be related. Uh, the stress level and uh, you know the what we call the the coping mechanism so some people will actually you know uh, put will will actually spread out bad words because they they have a problem with their own uh, life so if they have a problem in their own life then yeah sometimes they do bad things to other people so that's why maybe for some people uh, the the COVID-19 pandemic uh, caused some problems. Yeah, so those problems are manifested in, you know, in many other ways, such as uh, cyberbullying or everything else. So, so yeah, that's one thing that you need to pay attention to. So again, uh, cyberbullying for me, it's just a symptom, but not the cause. So we are, if we can tackle the cause, then we can cure the symptom. I see. So, so this is our last question, last but certainly not least. What do you think we can do to stop or make an impact on internet toxicity as a whole? Again, so everybody must do their own uh, role here. So again, if you just want to prevent, uh, you know, bad things from happening to you through the internet, practice internet uh, safety, meaning that you choose who you hang out with you choose who you uh, who, who your friends are and then make sure that you don't post uh, negative uh, news or bad news or don't uh, do uh, bullying to others because again uh, the golden rule the golden rule right so if you do something to others then others can do something also to you right mm-hmm. so yeah that's the golden rule so that's number one but number two also you can try to educate people who are closest to you. So you can tell your mom maybe, or your parents, or your brothers, sisters, this is not good, this is something that you can improve. Or maybe if there is something, uh, an instance of cyberbullying that you know of, maybe you can talk to the person directly, uh, but politely, uh, maybe uh, you can prevent the cyberbullying from continuing, and also to prevent that from happening again in the future. Again, education is the key. So from this session, we have learned from our principal that to stop cyberbullying, um, a very important factor is education, because education can we can educate people on the internet safety and how much of an impact cyberbullying can have in a person's lives. And we've also learned from our principal today that. Um, a small single spread of misinformation can cause havoc and major damage and i believe that is it for our session today yes sir okay thank you sir for agreeing to join us sir this may have not been the most natural meeting i must say since we're rather new to this but thank you for your answer sir and we appreciate the hard work and time that you have put into us sir Okay, my greatest pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to our podcast. See you in the next episode of Panda Podcast.